What's up, y'all? Listen, I wanted to recreate a video that I did a couple days ago. I know some of you guys saw that I uploaded a video and then I had to take it back down real quick. And the reason that I had to take it back down was because there was no audio. And you guys jumped in the comment section and let me know that you couldn't hear anything. So first of all, I want to say thank you guys for having my back on that, jumping in the comment section so fast and notifying me that you guys couldn't hear anything because it basically allowed me the grace to take the video down before it got out to other people. So shout out to y'all for having my back on that. Secondly, I want to thank you guys for all of the continued love and support on the channel we've grown like 500 plus new subscribers the view count and everything is going up i appreciate each and every last one of y'all for just continuing to show love and support to the channel man um to all of my day ones y'all already know what it is i love you guys and basically the reason that i wanted to recreate this video was because i felt like there was a lot of golden nuggets and there was a lot of good information in that video and i was a little bit upset because i felt like there's no way for me to recapture everything that i said in that video but i do feel like i remember en enough about it so where i can at least hit the hot points and things like that and you guys can still get the gist of what i'm saying so basically what that video was about was changing your per per perception after the discard and basically changing the lenses that you're viewing the narcissist in. And one of the things that I said in that last video was you have to, it's almost like a, your, your spiritual prescription has changed. So the lenses that you're looking at the narcissist through is no longer going to work for your eyes. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, no, it's no longer going to work for your life. It's no longer going to fit your situation. So first of all, I want to say to all of you guys that are able to go no contact, but you're looking back on the situation and you think that the narcissist is living this great life and all of that kind of stuff, like, please take the blessing and the lesson and move on with your life. You know what I'm saying? Because these, the stuff that you're seeing, the, the perception that they're painting isn't the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, even after the discard, everything is still a lie. You know what I'm saying? And so I wanted to give you guys a little bit, like a couple of examples, or at least one example of what I mean by that. So check this out. Well, first of all, before I even go, go into that, I was, uh, I was making a point. So those of you guys that are able to go no contact, that have been able to go no contact, it's actually a flex in that situation. You don't have any ties with this person so you literally can take your lesson as a blessing and move on with your life and you know kind of understand a little bit better about how to move in your next relationships and things like that now on the flip side for those of you guys who are tied to the narcissist in any type of capacity whether it's children whether it's marriage whether it's um you work with them, whether it's a business venture, whatever the case may be, there's some beauty in, in both sides of it. So just because you're stuck with this person and you're tied to this person does not mean um, that there's not some something to gain out of it. And one of the things that I'll say, people that are stuck with the narcissist after the discard and after they you know do the things that they do is we have a little bit more insight as to what's really going on. Now, here's the thing about the, the thing about the narcissist is they lie so much and they hide so much that you're never going to know fully what's going on. But there's certain things that if you're tied to this person, there's certain things that they can't lie about. There's certain things that, you know what I'm saying, that you're going to be able to see through or you're going you're gonna to be able to figure out because you still have a tie to this person. You still have a reason to see behind the scenes and things like that. So for those of you guys who are stuck with the person, now you can kind of see what's really going on behind the scenes. You can kind of um, attest to what's going on behind the scenes and, and help some of the other people who don't get a chance. So basically what I'm saying, it's, it's easy to deceive someone when you don't have to see them, when you don't have to be around them anymore, when basically the only thing that this person can see of you is the things that you're putting out there. But when you are tied to a person, there's no way to hide everything. You know what I'm saying? So for those of you guys that have been able to go no contact, you're not going to be able to see anything except for what they're showing you. But for those of you guys that are stuck in the situation with the narcissist, you're going to be able to see some of the lies right, like unfold right out in front of you. And what I mean by that is like, here's an example of what I mean by that. Um, in my personal situation, 
after the discard came, the hoovering got so bad. Now, now I don't encourage anybody to do what I did in the situation, but I had my reasons for doing everything that I did. So um, basically what ended up happening was after the discard came, the hoovering got so bad that I was going to leave everything alone. I was going to leave, you know, well enough alone. And I did for years. I didn't say anything. I didn't bring up anything that the narcissist had done to me for years to the public other than, you know, other than the YouTube channel. But that was still kind of like a private thing. You know what I'm saying? It was like me kind of sharing my story. My channel is really small. It, so it was, you know, in my family, my friends, I don't, sh I don't share my videos to any other platform. So, um, it was still kind of like a private thing to me. So I didn't like expose the narcissist in that way to, you know, my friends on social media, you know, as far as like Facebook and Instagram and all of that kind of stuff for like three years. But what ended up happening was I felt like I needed to protect myself because the hoovering got so bad. It was like I was, you know, being stalked real heavy to the point where I was getting new friend requests and, you know, new, uh, it was so much stuff going on behind the scenes, but I felt like I had to kind of protect myself a little bit. So I ended up exposing the narcissist a little bit on social media and kind of telling bits and pieces of some of the things that I had endured. Now, the moment that I started putting that information out there, she came back, you know, she went on her social media now I'm I'm exposing some of the things that she did and some of the bad behavior that she did while her and I was you know dealing with each other and even after the discard and all of that kind of stuff. Now, at that same time, of course, she's watching everything that I'm doing, or she has a flying monkey somewhere in the mix that's telling her what I'm doing. So basically, when I started putting certain things on social media, I knew it was going to get back to her. What, so what she ended up doing was going to her social media and she started posting all of the stuff about having a new set of keys and basically, you know, how, you know how people post when they first buy their home and they're posting like, oh, I got the keys, you know, you, like that kind of thing. So she goes to her social media at the same time when I'm exposing her, she goes to her social media and she's posting like she's doing great. She's you know, she, she just got the keys to her new home, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 all of that kind of stuff. Now, what was that supposed to do? What was she trying to accomplish? Like, now that I'm out of the situation, I can see basically what that was supposed to do was it was supposed to make me look like, you know, the bad guy or make me look like, well, she's gone on and she's living a great life. She's got, she, she's purchased a new home. She's doing this, she's doing that. And here you are still talking about her and here you are, you know, um, trying to badmouth her. So who's really the problem here? So it, so basically it was an attempt to make me seem like I was obsessing over her and basically not able to just, you know, move forward, forward with the situation. Now, the problem with it, because, you know, everybody, of course, I didn't see any of this kind of stuff because I had her blocked on social media and stuff like that. But my mom and you know a couple other family members especially some of the women you know women are women have certain intuition where they like you know even though i asked them to go no contact with her as well and to block her on social media they you know the women in my family are like no nah, we're gonna sit back and kind of watch what's going on because you know and i i can i can respect it coming from a woman's standpoint but um basically as i'm exposing her she's painting the picture that she's gone off and she's, she's doing well. That's basically to make it seem as if I'm just look, you know, I'm just stuck on that situation and I can't move forward and that's that and the third. Now what she's not telling is all of the stalking that she's doing behind the scenes. What she's not telling is all of the friend requests that I'm getting. What she's not telling is all of the, uh, text messages text messages and things that I'm getting from random numbers and things like that. So they're doing all of these things behind the scenes to you and showing you, you know, all of this negativity. But then on the flip side to the whole public, they're trying to make it seem like, oh well, I'm living the you know, I'm living my best life. I done I done moved on and I done bought a house and I done done this and I done done that and all of that kind of stuff. Now, 
with me being in the situation and me having to deal with her, I'm looking at the situation and I'm like, where's the new house at? You know what I'm saying? Like you posted on social media, oh, I got the keys, I did this, I did that, da 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 Now, I'm, I still have to deal with this person in real life though. You know what I'm saying? So that the picture that she tried to paint was, oh, I'm doing great. I have a, you know, I have a new home and he's just over there tripping. I don't know why he's over there tripping because I'm doing me, I'm doing great. I'm, you know, that kind of thing. Like I said, again, not telling any of the stuff that they're doing behind the scenes to you. So what ended up happening was my mom and everybody kind of contacted me and they're like, oh, um, you know, she just posted that she she just bought a house and she just, you know, she, you know, she got the keys and this, that, and the third. So I'm like, Oh, okay, really? You know what I'm saying? And, and at that time, I didn't really know because she had been bringing my son to me. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, that's another way to, like, control the information that that I get. If I can't see anything that's going on in her situation, she brings my son to me all the time. I don't know what's really going on. So, in her mind, I was going to take that information and it was going to, like, break me down to the point where, like, oh, my God, she, she moved in with the new supply. Oh, my God. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but then on the flip side of it, it was like to control the narrative to the entire public. So a lot of what's going on behind the scenes, you have the knowledge now, you have the information and you know about, you know, the hoovering, you know about the, all the different terminologies that come along with, with MPD and all of that kind of stuff. But you're still looking at the narcissist through the same set of lenses. You think that this person is that same great person when, like I said at the beginning of the video, your spiritual prescription has now changed. Like you have to look at them through the lens of reality and not the perception that they're putting out there to you. And because they're gonna paint any, they're gonna paint the picture as if you are the problem. They're gonna figure out a way to try to spin it, try to paint the picture that you're the problem and that they have gone on and that they're living a perfect life. Now how I know that's cap, how I know, you know like the young and say, they, you know, that's cap though. That's how I know it's all a facade is that I still go and pick my son up and there's no new house. There's no new set of keys anyway. I'm still picking her up from her mother's house where basically I left her when, when her and I stopped talking. So where is, where is the new house? Where is the new, the, all of this new stuff that, you know, she's trying to paint the picture and make it seem as if she's doing better than what she really is in life. So, like I said, a lot of what's going on is just perception management. They're trying to get in front of the problem to the point where they, you know, they want the public to look at you as the problem. So they're going to paint the picture, especially if you go down the, down the road that I did and started exposing her. And like I said, I started exposing it because it's like you wouldn't leave well enough alone. You've done all of the terrible things that you've done to me and I didn't say anything about it. I left it alone. I tried to continue to move on with my life. And even after me trying to move on with my life, you're still taking shots in the dark. Like you're still taking shots behind the scenes. And it's put me into a position where now I'm feeling like I have to defend myself because I, I have been quiet the whole time. I haven't brought up any of the stuff that you did. Basically, like three years went past. My son, you know, was three years old. And then before I had even thought about putting out, you know, exposing her in any type of way. And like I said, the reason that I did was because she just wouldn't stop. She wouldn't leave well enough alone. I'm the type of person that if you cross me, but... You, you know what I'm saying? You leave it alone and I'm able to get over the situation. I'm not going to keep coming for you. It is what it is. But she continued to come for me. You know what I'm saying? And because she continued to come for me, I was, that's when I started kind of like trying to defend myself. But in me defending myself, I had to expose a lot of the behavior and a lot of stuff that was going on behind the scenes. Like I said, she was using that story of her having a new home and to basically, I guess, trick me into believing that her and the new supply had moved on and they have they have all of these, you know, she, she's basically living this wonderful life with the new supply and all of that kind of stuff. I'm looking at the situation in reality, though, and I'm like, where's the new house? Because I'm picking, I'm picking, 
I'm picking our son up from the same house that you've been in the entire time. I haven't seen, you know, I haven't seen any, when did you move out? When did, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, like be real with the situation. You know what I'm saying? So basically a lot of the stuff that you're seeing behind the scenes is just perception management. They are trying to make it look good to the entire public, not just you. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to look good for everybody. So me personally, if I was still emotionally invested into that situation, I would have taken that like, oh, damn, you know, she didn't she, she didn't moved on like that. She didn't got a new place with the new supply. And I would have been like driving myself crazy because I would have been so hurt and so, you know, distraught about her moving in with the, with the new supply and all of that kind of stuff. And then the fact that my son, you know, m my son would have been involved in whatever moves she she makes or whatever the case may be. So it's all a way to con control the narrative. It's all a way to control your perception. And so when you get the knowledge and when you get the understanding, you literally have to change. Like I said, your, your, your spiritual prescription has changed to the point where the glasses, the lenses that you're looking at them will no longer fit your life. It's no longer going to, like the story's not gonna line up no more. You know what I'm saying? The things that you saw about this person where you thought this person was a great person and this, that, and the third, you have to look at them through a different set of lenses. Like, um, matter of fact, this, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I got my other pair of glasses. Right, like right now, I have these these set of frames on. Before the discard, I was looking at her through the, through these set of frames. You know what I'm saying? After the discard and after I got the knowledge and everything, basically, these these glasses no longer work anymore. You know what I'm saying? I, I I'm not able to see her in the same light that I did before. I got all of the information and I got all of the education on MPD. So basically. Now I have a new set of frames. I gotta throw these on and look at her now. You know what I'm saying? I gotta throw these on and see her for what she really is. Now I now I can see clearly like these, my prescription was going bad. You know what I'm saying? Like basically my, my, my prescription was going bad and I couldn't see, you know, everything that I needed to see. But now I went and got my eye exam. Basically it's like you went through a spiritual eye exam. You know what I'm saying? You went through a spiritual eye exam and now your lenses have changed and now your focus, the way that you see this person has completely changed. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to drop that on in y'all lap real quick because a lot of you guys get caught up in the perception and in the picture that they're painting instead of seeing what's really in reality and what's really going on. And I know some of you guys can't see what's really going on because they do a very good job of like hiding everything and they do it, especially if you don't have any ties with them. But if you have ties with them, you'll be able to see through the lies and stuff like that. So I just wanted to drop that in y'all lap, man. I will be back, you know, and, and you know, to show y'all some love real soon. Hopefully uh, this evening I'll drop another video. But basically, I just wanted to drop this video and just let you guys know you have to change how you're looking at the whole situation. They're not doing as great as they portray themselves to be. So that's my video, y'all. I'll tap in with y'all later.